Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do a retouch of this model that I worked with um, last year. Uh, she's a good friend as well. And um, so let's go ahead and get started. First thing that I always do is I go into my develop module, go into my lens corrections, enable profile correction, and remove chromatic aberrations. Uh, next thing that I'm going to do is go and check on my, you know, normal exposures and all that good stuff. So let's see what we're doing with exposure. Let's bring that exposure up quite a bit. 80 should do it. Highlights. Yeah, let's bring the highlights down. The shadows can stay where they're at. Um, let's bring up the contrast just a little bit um, let's see what else can we do for this let's bring up the vibrance so we can get some more color in there in the uh, background and on her clothing and this is actually going to be a pretty simple edit uh, next thing that I'm going to do is go down to my Hue, Saturation, Luminance, click on Hue. And what I want to do is I want to work on these pillars a little bit here. Let's see what, what I can get going on these. All right, so let's also go and affect the water. Actually, the water looks pretty clean and, and good if I just go that way just a little bit. And maybe I can do the same thing here. And right about there looks good. Let's see, do I need to do anything in split toning, highlights, saturations? No, I kind of like the, the colors the way that they are. Um, okay, <clears throat> so I'm going to go into tone curves and let's go ahead and raise this up some like so. Bring this down like so. Raise this up like so. And I'm in love with this image already. Now let me just play with this just a little bit to get it exactly the way that I want. And let's see here. Don't like to overkill. Actually, I think that's it right there. Oh, that is beautiful. Okay, so I'm going to go back to basic. And right now, this is where I like to mess. After I do that, I like to mess with the DAs a little bit. So let's see what we get here. Oh, right there. Perfect. That is beautiful. All right. So uh, another thing that I think I'm going to do is I'm going to crop this just a little bit. Uh, only because I don't want so much headspace, and I know it's, I know it's cutting off some of her hair, but I really want her on that portion of the frame. It also gives the rule of thirds, which I think looks good for this photo. So that looks good right there. I'm gonna hit return. That actually looks pretty amazing. And one more thing I want to do is go into details. And uh, Lightroom automatically pushes the sharpening up to 40, which is fine. But what I want to do is hit Option and then left click on the masking and drag it over to the right. Because I don't want her skin to get over sharpened. So everything that's black is not sharpened. Everything that is white will be sharpened. So that looks good just like that. I think I'm going to leave it like that. I really, really like it. Let me uh, let me see what I can do here with the white balance. Maybe I'll play with the white balance a little bit and bring it a little bit warmer. Just a little bit, just like that. And let me see what I can do with the tint here. Now, actually... I think I'm going to leave the tint alone and 
I actually do want to do a little bit of experimentation. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my graduating filter and I'm going to go to tint. No, I'm sorry. I'm going to go to temperature and I'm going to drag this out this way. And let's see where the lines are at on that. Bring it out just a little bit more. Now on the temperature, I don't want it blue. I want it more towards the warmer spectrum of things. Oh, yes, absolutely. And what I'm going to do is let's see if I bring it from this end and I get some blue in there. What we have going. Let's see where's it at. All right, so that's good right there. Let's see what happens if I bring the temperature down on this side. Not too much. And what if I give it a little bit of magenta? No. You know what? I don't like that one. And that's the great thing about light. When you don't like it, delete it. So I think that looks good. Uh, I think that is a finished product for me. So if you like this video, please make sure to like and subscribe. And if you feel so inclined, please leave a comment in the comment section below, good or bad. Either way, it helps my algorithms so more people can see my videos. And I will talk to you guys next time. See ya.